This video is sponsored by Film Convert. Hey guys, Flo from Off to Lens here. I'm a French and French filmmaker, and today I want to discuss if gear changes the way we shoot. Gear doesn't matter. This is something we hear all the time. Over the past eight years, I've created documentaries and travel videos, and looking back on earlier work, I can see the evolution, and that made me think about how much it was impacted by the gear itself. Does having better gear change the way we capture things, and does it make us better filmmakers? I will share my thoughts on this video, and feel free to add yours in the comments as well. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this one, and let's get into it. Gear is a pretty important part of filmmaking, especially today with social media. I love gear, for example, and always have. It is pretty obvious when you look at my channel. Without gear, we wouldn't be able to create. And these days, we are very lucky to have so much choice at a reasonably low price compared to just 10 or 15 years ago, for example. I often think about the gear I had when I started and the gear I have now, and it made me question the impact it had on my own work. I happen to have also shot very similar documentaries over my career, as well as travel content from the same places, so I wanted to have a proper look and compare the evolution. All the gear mentioned will be in the description. Back in 2014, my wife and I made a short documentary about a letterpress printer in Australia. This was our first proper documentary with a person that wasn't family or friend. We shot it over two days and it was filmed with the original BMPCC and two Canon DSLRs, all 1080 cameras. We didn't have lights and only one small shotgun for the audio. The lenses were Steel's lenses. A very basic kit. That being said, the edit was very well received, earning us a selection at the Sydney Film Festival and gathering more than 40,000 views on Vimeo. This makes me think that, as always, story is what matters. But when I look back on it, I would change quite a lot of things, and definitely bring some lights. Fast forward six years, and in 2020, my wife and I decided to make another short documentary piece about a letterpress store and printer, also in Australia. This time, it was shot on a BMPCC 6K with Contax Vintage Prime lenses. I also had a monitor, better audio, but still used natural light. Of course, the locations are different, but I think the newest one looks a lot better. Apart from having better coverage and composition, I think the gear helped a lot in many ways. First of all, the dynamic range is great, which allows me to shoot in full daylight. The sharpness and resolution allow for great rendering of the details on a printed work, and overall, the image doesn't feel as flat. I also like to think that I became a better cinematographer during the gap, but it is interesting to see that gear helped quite a lot too. The lenses, for example, gave a certain look and feel that standard stills lenses cannot produce. Now let's talk about travel and outdoor work. Last year I went back to Iceland for the first time since my last and first visit back in 2015. The first time around, this was my kit. A 1080 camera, the original BMPCC, just one lens, no monitor, and not even an external battery pack. In 2021, this was my kit. A 6K camera, three Canon L lenses, a built-in tiltable 5-inch screen, internal NDs, dual ISO, and better battery life and I had the ability to shoot slow motion in 4K and even 6K. On top of that, I also brought my drone. Over the past few years, drones have made travel and outdoor work so much more interesting and elevated the production value to pretty much any projects they find themselves in. Even though I went to the same places and I shot everything myself on both occasions, there is quite a difference between my two videos. Whilst I think the composition is similar in some ways, the content itself looks so much better in terms of definition, textures and colors. The aerial shots in slow motion not only add variety, but also help the pace of the whole edit. Overall, it provided a much better experience for the viewer. For documentary work, for example, having better lights and better audio not only enhance the piece, but on some occasions are actually necessary. For travel content, resolution, slow motion and aerial footage can create a more immersive edit that can transport your audience. Specific gear can also mean smoother movements if you have access to a gimbal, or can actually save your back with an easy rig, for example, when you have to stand for hours at a time with a heavy rig. And having a more reliable camera kit with better battery life can be the difference between getting a shot or not. Having better gear can help you achieve your vision. Being able to grade your footage exactly the way you want, for example, is a huge plus thanks to the stronger codecs you can find in today's cameras. Speaking of color grading, here's a quick word about today's sponsor, Film Convert. I've talked about it many times on a channel before, Film Convert enables you to add film color and grain to your videos. I use it as a plugin with Final Cut Pro, but you can use it with Premiere, After Effects, or DaVinci. You have real film grain for an authentic and organic look, which I love and use a lot. 
There are nearly 20 film stocks to choose from, my favorite being the Kodak 5207. All the footage you have seen in today's video was graded using Film Convert. As you can see, I use it for a wide variety of content, whether it be travel, commercial or documentary, and I have been doing so since 2014. I also use it with all my current cameras, the 6K Pro, my Mavic 2 Pro and Canon EOS R since they have a range of camera profiles. I will soon make a whole dedicated video about my color grading process using Film Convert, so stay tuned. And don't forget to check out the link in the description to get 10% off. So does gear actually matter? In a general way, yes. In my opinion, gear matters as it allows us filmmakers to create better content, faster, cheaper, and for a much better looking final edit. But I think better gear can also amount to nothing if there is no experience and skills involved. Gear shouldn't be bought or upgraded without any reasons. It must serve a purpose other than just owning the latest and greatest. For me, gear should evolve alongside the filmmaker. When looking at my own work over the past couple of years, I have shot documentaries with cameras like the BMPCC6K or the C200. Whilst it is still about a person's story, the visuals are of course different and hopefully the cinematography and my way of telling the story have also improved. That's it for me for today guys, hopefully this was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and let me know what are your thoughts on this. Do you think gear matters and do you think it changes the way we shoot? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.